Hello, this is Galen Martling, and today I'm going to show an autumn slimline card, and I'm going to show sunflowers that are embossed with heat embossing on vellum, and the color is going to be in the background with brick stenciling. And so here is just my version using this beautiful kit by Unity. It's called Sunflower Wishes. It's the September 2021 Sentiment Kit by Lisa Arana, and it's beautiful. I'm using stencils and dies by My Favorite Things. I'm using their slimline version of dies. I cut the card base at seven inches by eight and a half inches, and I scored it at three and a half inches to fit the MFT dies. So the card base could be a different size depending on the kind of dies you're using and what brand. So this fits the MFT brand of dies. And so now I am heat embossing in white embossing powder sunflowers. And I'm using two at a time here. I stamped with Wow Embossing Ink Pad and I'm heat, em heat embossing in white with a heat tool. I prepared that with a powder tool to begin with just so that we don't have too much stray embossing powder. And so I'm going to add a partial flower here on the edge just to use up this vellum and add an, an additional flower to the card. And so this is going to be cut out all individually just by fussy cutting with scissors. And so for um, some extra stamping, I stamped the sentiment on one of those die cut pieces that came in that slim line kit. Also, I'm this the sentiment kit comes with these cute little bees. And so I stamped them and colored them with two shades of Copic markers, one in orange and one in yellow. And so I go ahead and get the stenciling ready. I just temporarily put some purple tape, which is repositionable tape on the back of that slimline panel and on the sides of the stencil just to hold it in place. I also put it on the background uh, craft mat there just so that everything would stay in place and won't move around on me. And so I picked three colors of MFT um, ink. They're ink cubes. I used the colors of lemon drop, candied yam, and also craft color. And so these work great for ink blending as well. Sometimes I grab my Distress Ink or Distress Oxide inks, but I had these pretty autumn colors in these cubes already ready to go, so I thought I would use them, and they work just fine. And I'm using ink blending brushes. These were sold as makeup brushes, but I just use them for crafting, and they work just fine. Uh, they're very comparable to the other ones, but um, I go ahead for the coloring and I just blot different shades of autumn colors around. And then I use that brown or a craft color in the middle and around the sides. I want, it, I want this slimline card to be framed in more of the brown. And so it's all finished. I remove the tape and lift it up off of the craft mat there. And you can see, you could see the brick stenciling in there with the autumn colors. I'm not sure that I've seen brick with autumn colors, but it's gonna be for this card anyway. And so it's gonna be a background for these sunflowers that um, that I'm not coloring at all. I'm just going to put, put them against, adhere them against this background and just, just a whimsical kind of pattern here on the side and in the middle. And I just taped with flat double-sided tape all of this down onto the front, the top layer there. So I just uh, go ahead and let some of those flowers overlap. And I adhere with a flat double-sided tape that top panel onto the card base. I use foam tape for the sentiment. I'm adding those little bees onto the sunflowers and I'm adding some adhesive gems just to make it sparkle, it's so pretty. So this is going to be used with either an orange or yellow slimline envelope or any business size envelope works just fine too. I love it. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share if you will, and have a great day.